afternoon, everybody. My name's Katie Tiemann, and I'm with the Carolina's Cakes to Piedmont. And we are here at Kiawe Program Center. Now, Ranger Mike was supposed to join us this afternoon, but he got held up doing something else. So you guys are going to have me learning some simple car um, care things. So the first thing we're going to do is every day, and even at summer camp, before we leave for a trip, we check all of our tires, just visually check them. So what we would do is just walk around and see if any of our tires are low or if we can see any nails in any of the tires where they are now. So we just do a visual look at each one of our tires and those two look good. And then just looking at these two and they look good. Once a month, you want to check three things on your car. The first one is your tire pressure. And so I'm going to show you guys how to check your tire pressure and how to know how much air you need in each tire. So there's a couple of ways you can figure that out. You can Google it. <laughs> that might help you. But also most cars will have a sticker right there and it will tell you how many how much air you need in your tires so like this one right here the front tires need 30 and then the back tires need 29 psi also you can find it on this little sticker down here it'll tell you the 29 and the 30 then you can also go to your auto owner's manual and I just flipped this is on the back of the page or you can go into the index look up tires and it'll tell you right here again how much it should be so there's multiple ways for you to find um, your tire pressure okay so we have two, there's many types of gauges that you guys can use. We have these two that we use here at camp. This one, you have to reset it each time. So we're just gonna press the side button to reset it. So we're gonna come over here and we are gonna take the tab off of this and we're gonna put it somewhere flat so it doesn't roll away. And so we know that we need 30 in our tire, so we're just gonna stick this in. Then we see that we're a little bit over 30. And then the stick one, you do the same thing. And it's also telling us that we're a little bit over 30. So since we have a little bit too much air in our tires, what we would do is just stick this in, let a little bit of air out, and then check again and see what we're at. And perfect, we're right at 30 now. So that was simple. Okay. The second thing you need to check each month is your oil level. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pop your hood of your car. And I just pop it like that. Ours is down here. Again, you'll be able to find that in the owner's manual. And there's a picture of a car with the hood on it. So if you want to look. So you're going to need some paper towels for this part. Now every car is different for getting under the hood, opening the hood, so you just have to look. And you see right here, we have a little lever that we're gonna pop open. And then we just lift up our hood. Now some cars will have sticks that you lift up to hold the hood. This one has automatic, so we don't have to worry about that. All right. So you want to check your oil levels. 
And the first thing you want to do is look for your dipstick and it's always next to where you put oil in. And it also has the oil symbol on it. So we're going to pull this out and we're just going to clean it. And then on here, some will say line full, but on this one, you want it in oil going all the way up here. Some cars will have a line that'll say full, so you know. So we're gonna stick it back in. We're gonna kind of shake it a little bit. And then we're gonna pull it out. And we see that we have oil up here. So we know that we have enough oil in our car right now. If it wasn't up here and it was only down here or it wasn't above the fill line, that's when we would need to add some oil to our car. And at that point, we would just unscrew this, put in a funnel, and then put in some oil. The third thing that you wanna check on your car every month is your brake fluid, and that's really easy. So you'll find um, owner's manual again, where to find your brake fluid. And then you just open up your thing. And if it's at least a half an inch above the top, below this line right here, you're good. So we have more than enough brake fluid. Plus we can see that in our car. So those are the three important things to check every month. Something else you might want to check is your um, windshield wiper fluid. You would just lift that up, look inside. As you can see, there's not a lot in there, so we would want to fill that up. And then also checking our coolant. We just lift it up and look in there and see, oh, we have plenty. It's actually at the full. If you look down there, it says full empty <laughs> so our car is good to go for this month all right all right guys so those are just some basic th ways that you can check your car you can help your family each month by checking the tire pressures by uh, checking the oil and also checking the brake fluid and making sure that your family cars are ready to go and hit the road if you guys have any questions, just please leave them down below and we'll answer them as soon as we can. Again, join us this evening at 7 o'clock. We're going to be here with you guys Monday through Friday at 4 and 7. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great night. Bye.